Today, we're starting a successful trucking business from scratch. We can't do this alone. We need your help. One press on the like button equals $1 in game. While you're at it, don't forget to hit subscribe. Our goal for this episode is to get our first job, make some money, and start the foundation of our trucking empire. So I woke up at about 5.30 in the morning, put on my boots, stepped out the trailer doors of my trailer, stepped into the gas station for a quick cup of coffee, which took us down to $31 in cash. And then we hopped into an Uber. Away we go, Mr. Uber. $22 later, we were at our first job. I just got done talking to the farmer and he is in a load of trouble, <laughs> literally. His semi truck broke down and he needs to get all of his wheat harvested today. So he called us out here to pull these wagons out of the tree line to truck his grain all the way from the field to his silo. This job is going to pay about $125, which isn't really a whole lot, but he did say that he would make it worth it. So for now, let's hop into the John Deere 8300. He told me to pick up from his farm. Let's stop in up here at the garage. Hold on. I got duels. I got to make sure. Wait, there's two tires. Okay, two tires. What? Did I... Oh no, I already lost one. How did I lose a tire? He is going to kill me. What did I do? I just drove it from here to there. You know what? I'm just going to take it out there with three tires instead of four. And uh, if he doesn't say anything, then I just know it is how it is. Anyways, we came up here to the garage because he's... Oh my gosh. How would he even walk through here, bro? He said that there is a chainsaw somewhere in here. I, you know what? I'm going to ask him if I clean out his garage, will he give me a little bit extra money? So we found the chainsaw. Let's get out of this disgust. I closed the door on myself. Why? You know, I don't think I'm supposed to hold a chainsaw like this. Eh, I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's just stick it into the tractor here. All right, so we got our three-wheeled tractor out here, and we also got our chainsaw. Now, if we just head right on over yonder, start this chainsaw, we are going to cut down these little limbs here and get this cart to ready. Okay, so I chucked all of those trees into the, br the, the bushes here, and I think now... We should actually be able to pull this out of all the bushes. Oh gosh, that was way steeper than I thought it was, dude. I did not realize I just drove up the side of a mini mountain, bro. We're just going to take it right down this. Oh, 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 oh boy. Back up if I can. Back oh no. Oh no. We are in a situation here, boys. We're going down the hill on the side. We don't got duels. The drawbar's dragging. Okay, just, we're just going to drag it. Just drag it. Oh, oh. <laughs> and after all of that, we finally got the tractor down here to get him unloaded. Hey, if there's anything good about this tractor not having duels, we can park a little closer to the side now. All right, I'm unloading the combine while the farmer's working on his truck here. We are going to fill up these tiny little hoppers. And we're going to see this job through all the way to completion. All right, check it out. We are unloading our first load into the grain bins here. Another, I don't know how many of these, and we will have our first $125. Oh my gosh. It is now 1122 and we, uh, we haven't eaten anything. I'm starving. Look at this though. Look at this thing. So while we were out here harvesting, I came across this truck just down here in this little waterway. So I asked Caden, the farmer, if he'd be interested in selling this truck. And Caden, shout out to Caden on Patreon, he did me a solid and said that he would actually give me the truck if we pulled it up out of here and took it to his garage. And while I unloaded the last load of wheat, I made him another deal. I told him I'll clean your entire garage if he just gives me his lawnmower. After a little bit of haggling, I threw in an additional $25 and boom, we got a new lawnmower. Once we got to the garage, we got right to work cleaning the entire thing out and grabbing the tow chain. With that, we hooked up to the old truck, cut down the tree it was attached to, and pulled it through the field back to the garage. That's when Caden the farmer told me he'd get it running for me, and he sent me on my way with a lawnmower and $100. I loaded my new mower into the back of an Uber and paid for the most wild ride back to town I've ever taken in my life. And once I got back to town, I could only think of two things food and money. So I asked Tim Hortons if I mowed their lawn, would they give me a coffee and lunch for free? They agreed, so I grabbed my mower, fired it up, and got right to work. And with that, we finished the last of the Tim Hortons, went inside, got our food. As I was eating my Tim Hortons outside, a man walked up to me and asked me if I would come mow his yard, and I said yes. So I walked my little push mower over there, mowed his yard, and made an extra $150. But that's when things get a little crazy. Too 
my surprise, Caden actually pulls into the driveway with our new truck. And just in the nick of time, too. Someone said that they had a truck they'd be happy for me to run. I told them I didn't have my CDL yet, but they said that that's all right and we'll figure it out. So we loaded the lawnmower into the back of our new truck and headed to the job site. All right, y'all, we are leaving this here place. We've got our lawnmower loaded into the back of the truck and we are headed over to our first real trucking job all right so we're pulled around back here and this is the trailer that we have to haul but it looks like our lawnmower is going to be a bit of a problem but i'm sure they'll let us come back and get our lawnmower so we'll just set it down here for the time being and just like that we are all hooked up to this car trailer and ready to go so we are going to be hauling a couple really cool cars we've got about 266 dollars in the bank account right now and this should bring us up to 460 something dollars when it's all said and done tell you what though that old farmer's really coming in clutch for us we were able to get this job because he gave us a truck that is huge dude all right y'all so i just made it to the pickup destination it is right here there's a couple cars parked in this parking lot that have just recently been purchased by somebody okay i think we're good to go we've got the trailer ramps all the way down in the back let's get these cars loaded up here oh yeah dude the first car that we are gonna load up is oh oh the headlights oh the headlights oh that is too cool man this is an old school 1990s pontiac and man is this thing nice we've got that brought all the way forward here at least pretty darn forward i don't really want to go on those extensions even though i can but our second car is one of these ah here it is Woo! another good sounding one dude oh it's too good this is a dodge charger demon we're hauling here today as well all right we're gonna get these cars loaded right on up and that should be good right about there go ahead and pull out a couple straps we'll get these strapped down here we've got the back ramps raised up i think we are all ready to roll here we've got two pretty nice cars loaded onto this old truck dude man i'm hoping this old thing will get it to where it needs to go but they said if we successfully complete this delivery with no issues they would actually pay for my cdl so that would be an amazing help so let's hope that everything goes smoothly here all right crossing the river here back into iowa from wisconsin still got our load everything is looking just fine over here and now that we're into iowa we've only got another about two and a half hours until we're where we need to be oh no 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 okay guys i've got pulled over to the side of the road here because we're starting to overheat we've been climbing up the riverside up these bluffs and we still got quite a ways to go and it is overheating oh man all right i'm just gonna let it sit here and uh shoot well let me call the local tow truck here boy i sure hope this doesn't hurt our chances at getting our cdl 